Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with my next video, and this is going to be a very cool attack strategy. Uh, first of all, I know what you guys are thinking from my regular subscribers. No upload yesterday and a very short upload today, so I apologize for that, but tomorrow should have probably multiple videos. I should be able to record a lot tomorrow and probably a defensive video, hopefully a Town Hall 9 base build if I get around to that. So look forward to that tomorrow. But for this video, uh, this is going to be an attack strategy. only have one attack to show, but I wanted to show it as quickly as possible so you guys have access to it because um, I, I always want you guys to be able to be the first people to see it so that this channel has it first, uh, which I think is something I always strive to do is have the first attack strategies as soon as they become popular. Not sure how big this one will get, but it's a surgical earthquake uh, baby dragon attack so I've talked bad about mass baby dragons that they don't work that well but I think they might actually have some potential especially with the queen walk to go with it so we're taking a look at last Spartan uh, doing this attack and it works out very well here I think uh, yeah this is the right attack yeah spaced out for a second but yeah this is the right attack and we'll just go ahead and start it off but the idea is that you're using the earthquake spells not in a typical way you're using them kind of in a staggered formation almost if that makes sense you'll see more uh, what i mean as soon as he uh he actually does it but you use the earth earthquake spells in a very special way you have the three rages for the queen now you can drop a rage and bring two poison, but one of the power the power of this attack strategy is that you have uh, three rages plus the queen's ability. Right there, he dropped two earthquakes on each side. That way, all that was opened up was that one wall in the middle, and because of that, um, he's not going to let his queen drift off to one side. So this is great for these kind of bases that have a small core with the four air defenses all being accessible uh, through that core. Um, as long as the queen pathing is uh, decent, and you can pred predict where the queen will go. Uh, this can be a very effective strategy. And he knows he can get all four air defenses taken out. Drops that first rage, takes out the dragon in the CC. And notice that he gets these baby dragons going somewhat early. You don't want to run out of time with this. And you'll see he actually does run out of time. This is a 99% attack. But you want to get those baby dragons down as soon as possible. Right before the air defense goes down, when you can anticipate it going down, get a baby dragon down in that area, let it start doing work, because the archer towers, the wizard towers, even the expos aren't going to be too much of an issue. He goes ahead and drops the king right there to take out some trash and tank for a few buildings. Meanwhile, his queen's getting deeper into the base here, and you can see how important it is that he doesn't open up uh, this side of the base, these walls, or these walls. Otherwise, his queen will stray, and one of these air defenses will be left up. He needs that queen to for sure go inside the core, and she will as soon as that wizard tower goes down. She hops inside the core and takes out these next two air defenses. So very nice there. The baby dragons are maybe a little bit late. They could have gone down a little earlier, especially up, up at 2 o'clock right there. He goes ahead and drops the CC, which has a regular size dragon, which is kind of interesting. So uh, that was cool to see. Maybe three max baby dragons would have been more effective i don't know uh it, i think it might have worked out okay for him but there's a tesla farm right there and the problem is really going to be that these baby dragons get destroyed by the tesla farm i'm not sure how it happened but um, one thing to keep in mind is that they're not as powerful as you might think they are because they don't have that times two damage so we kind of have a false perception of how strong baby dragons actually are but they do take a while to move through the base here and there's so many defenses there's all these teslas the expo the archer tower those baby dragons go down so quickly uh, the queen is going to pop her ability she is going to take out some of these buildings but it's not going to be enough he's going to run out of time very close right there the only problem was the queen can't target this tesla which is weird you think she'd be able to but she can't reach the tesla right there so it does not get the three star but anyway the important thing about this strategy just so you guys have it for those of you town hall nines out there Drop the quakes, and if you can stagger them to only open up a few walls, so drop two quakes on one side, two quakes on the other, and the overlapping area will be the part of the walls that get taken out. If you can open up a very specific part of the walls, and if, if that funneling works out, if the pathing works out, I should say, and the queen, you can predict that she'll go inside the core of the base, and all four air defenses are reachable, because a lot of bases are designed that way, where the core of the base can uh, be accessed it can access all four air defenses if the queen gets in there if that's the case get your queen in there get those baby dragons going early and this can be a very effective strategy so i uh, hope this video helped if it, if it did drop a like and uh, let me know what you think in the comments any questions all that good stuff 
I'll be sure to take a look at that. But yeah, should have some more videos coming out tomorrow. So be sure to stay, uh, stay tuned and be looking out for that. I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sactatron out.